Hi everyone and welcome to another video. At my local hardware store Bunnings Warehouse they have a craft section and in this craft section they have lots of wooden craft items and kits and I picked up this teapot coaster that I will use as a base for this project and the telephone booth money bank. So let's create something with these items. The main supplies I am using are craft paper, Mad Mod Podge, Crackle Medium, acrylic paints, brushes, glue, various wooden sticks, fake moss and plants, and also I show burlap, but I end up not using that. I have a cut up little skeleton, a bottle, a key, a doorknob that will all be incorporated into this project. So let's start off with the wooden base and the phone booth. Off camera, I took the base off the phone booth to see if I could pry it apart instead of using a power tool, and it turns out I can. So here I am, just taking apart all the sides and windows. I'm also taking off the glue from the inside to just tidy up all the pieces and get them ready to be painted. The tool I'm using for this is a flat etching tool, but it works perfect for this project. Next, I'm giving all the main pieces a black base coat. Now that the base coat is dry, I'm going to apply a crackle medium before I apply the red top coat. The crackle separates the top layer and makes the base coat come through. Once the crackle layer is dry, I apply the red top coat and you can see that it starts to crackle immediately. This gives an awesome aged effect and minimizes sanding time. The paint is doing the work for me. Once all the layers are dry, I apply a top coat of matte Mod Podge to seal it all in. After cleaning the glue off the windows, I sanded them to give them a frosted and more aged look to go with the rest of the telephone booth. This took no time at all and it is a super effective technique. Next up is creating the cobblestones for the base. I painted an egg carton with white and acrylic paint and I cut out all the little stones. This also works really well for walls as you might have seen in my other miniature pieces. The only downfall is, is that it's very time consuming but I always love the result and in the end I just keep using this technique. I painted the base black with acrylic paint and once that was dry I attached the cobblestones with Mod Podge. I tidied up the edges just by cutting off the excess with a craft knife. Glue the windows back on the wood before putting the phone booth back together. Taking it apart and especially taking the windows out made the painting process so much easier. And now it's time to put the booth onto the base. All the glue used for this project is paper craft glue and it worked perfect for all the elements. I decided to put the door slightly ajar to add interest to this diorama. I added a metal doorknob which gives the door a more finished look. Mm -hmm. 
technique I often use is applying an acrylic wash to projects and then wiping the excess off to leave just a touch of color behind. That is what I did with the cobblestone base. It makes the overall appearance more realistic and I love that look. Here I am adding a dull red to the skull parts. It will look more decayed in the end, so stay tuned for that. My absolute favorite part of dioramas is adding the little details like moss and finishing touches. This is also time consuming, but so relaxing and enjoyable to do that I just take my time for it. As you saw at the start of the video, I have quite a few fake plants that I was planning on using. I really like the red with the contrasting green, so I kept it at that. I stick parts down with washi tape as it is easily removable once the glue is dry. And now for the epic montage. And that's it for this video. I hope you like this project. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I will leave a link to my miniatures playlist in the end card so you can catch up on all the miniatures I've created. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!